Hey, Aiden. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. How are hey. you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this with us, for coming to chat and just talk about your your stuff and your yellow dog, you know, experience and also just you as an artist and a filmmaker <laughs> and all these cool things. So uh, if you wanted to introduce yourself and kind of talk a little bit about those kind of things that you're into. Sure. Um, hi, I'm Aiden. I'm graduating high school this year, which is exciting, but kind of scary. I think it's going to be good because I can work on, you know, a lot of creative things. I'm really into making films. And now with Yellow Dog, I'm learning how I can make the soundtracks myself for the films, which is great because the soundtracks are always a hard part. Amazing. Um, congratulations on graduating high school, first of all. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it'll be good. <laughs> Whatever happens. Um, that's so cool that you're into filmmaking and so cool that you're now. I know that you've been into filmmaking for a long time, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it's just great that you're now learning how to like, if you wanted to compose music for it. And is it kind of like soundtrack stuff that you're into doing? Yeah, well, actually, for the for the films, I want to be I want to learn how to make all the soundtracks myself. But um, in the lessons right now, I've mostly been working on uh, making songs that are similar to the styles of artists that I like, which has been really fun. OK, I love that. And you're working with Paul, right? I'm working with Paul. Yeah. And it's so much fun. Yeah, he's like a master of, uh, I mean, he's a master of many things. What kind of artists do you like listening to? Well, a whole bunch of different music, honestly. Uh, right now we're working on kind of a rap sounding beat, but then before that it was more of like a ballad -y kind of song. So jumping between genres a lot. Amazing. And are you doing lyric writing as well as like the production side of it? No, right now we're just working on the production because I've tried to use logic, you know, by myself in the past just to like teach it to myself, but it's kind of overwhelming. You know, it's like there's so many buttons and there's so many different features that I didn't even know about. And then Paul hops in and he's like, I don't know how he remembers it all. It's wild, <laughs> but he's like my guide through through all of it. He's a wizard. Um, <laughs> I mean, he just knows so much. And I know logic even myself like i've studied music for a long time but i it was always less like computer technical it's like it was intimidating you know the production yeah. like, there it is such a vast like art unto itself even like different sects within music production like mixing or engineering yeah. or like all these different things like there's just so many fields within the field and it can be really complex and like i i understand that feeling, but I'm, it's so great that you have Paul because he really is, he's an amazing teacher and he just knows so much about it. So yeah. when you started taking lessons with Paul through Yellow Dog, did you have like a clear goal of what you wanted to, to learn? Not really. I just wanted to become a bit more familiar with logic and everything, which is, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised how quickly <laughs> I picked it up because it's pretty complicated. But then, you know, Paul's just telling me, he's like, Oh, you know it's this shortcut and this shortcut and you can do this and i'm like whoa you know yeah <laughs> yeah i know once you start learning the shortcuts it's like a whole new world everything changes but i'm sure that you have experience working with like video editing software i'm assuming yeah, i do yeah <laughs> what programs do you know or do you work with for video editing uh now i mainly work with um adobe premiere uh, when I was a kid, I would use like iMovie and stuff, but I was able to teach myself Premiere pretty easily. But um, Logic is a different beast. <laughs> it's a different beast for sure. So yeah. did, did you feel like there were connections between like video editing and then music editing, essentially? Yeah, the first time it happened was when he was telling me about how to like bounce the tracks. And I was like, it's just like nesting on Premiere, I understand. And it was like, it clicked. Yeah, it's funny because I have more experience, I guess, with the music at software but then recently like getting into video editing i i have those moments in reverse where i'm like <laughs> oh like this isn't so different from you know editing a song or and i find too just like if you have experience like creating films and stories and stuff like creating music is the same thing like basically you're telling a story um so how have yeah. you found that like your experience doing filmmaking has influenced kind of your songwriting production experience well Music's always like a super big part of making films for me because, you know, if I hear a song, I'll like, you know, I'll be like, oh, this would be so good with whatever scene and stuff. And I think yeah, it's it's similar with making the music. You know, I'm just trying to, like you said, I'm trying to tell a story with it. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I'm just I'm so excited to be able to finally make my own soundtracks for my stuff because then I just have like so much more control even you know I have all the shots but then I can even like get like all the emotion and the music and stuff like the exact things I need so yes I feel that I often think or like watch a movie and imagine what it would be like if there was different music playing it's wild how much the music tells a story essentially of like yeah kind of film or movie yeah it's so important to any film the soundtrack so i'm really I'm, yeah like i said i'm really excited to be able to make my own yeah i feel that i i also like as a creative person like at least being able to know a little bit of every part you know exactly yes. yeah yeah no this is like the final piece because i learned about editing and then in school i took classes about like composing shots and like the lighting and everything like that and then now i'm finally i'm like putting all the pieces together because now i'll have the soundtracks down too absolutely that is so cool how has it been working with paul i know we talked a little bit about how awesome he is but how is that <laughs> kind of experience working with him and having lessons at yellow dog How's it been? It has been so much fun because I don't know when I'm in the lessons with Paul, it doesn't feel like work, you know, really. It's like, it's just fun and it's like we're hanging out. But then also, I don't know how he knows just everything. You'll be like, you know, I was working on this track and I don't know how to do this or I don't think this is really working. And then he's always like, oh, well, you know, there are like so many different options. You know, you can do this, you can do this. And I'm like, this is, this is incredible. And then he'll show me like three new features that I didn't even know was on the program. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. He's so cool. He's such a cool guy. He's, yeah, he's just really helpful. How long have you been doing lessons at Yellow Dog? Uh, at Yellow Dog, I've been doing it for about six months now, I think. Okay. And it's um, it's so different from any other music lessons I've done because I did like piano lessons when I was younger, but always both places I went to they were so like strict and rigid and it's like you know do this do this you know read from the book do whatever scales and it's like there was no room for, for me to influence what I was learning it's just it's so much fun well I mean your story is similar to a lot of people who end up coming to Yellow Dog and they're like you know I did music lessons but it was very like just kind of rigid and not a lot of room for what I wanted or what I wanted to explore it had to be like okay well a and then B, C, you know, you can kind of follow the steps and that works for some people. And like having a little bit of that can be nice too. But mm -hmm. for the most part, you know, I think people want, want to be creative and um, be able to express themselves freely. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And have it feel fun and not like a chore. And like music lessons can feel like a chore for sure. Like I have, ex I experienced that as well. And it never felt right. So I was like, I love music so much. Like, why is this not fun? Yeah, I know. Exactly. I would always, it would be, I'd be going to the lesson. I'd be dreading it. I'm like, I don't want to sit here for like an hour and just do this. But now I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I get to hop on. I get to hop on Zoom. I get to work on logic, you know, because it's just, I can do, you know, whatever, you know, my brain tells me, you know, whatever creative thing I want. It's just, he's like, yeah, you know, we'll work on it. We'll, and he always manages to like work in like all the, like teaching me the functions of the program, just doing, you know, what it, the the thing that I want to do so it's awesome yeah like that's the dream it's like I just want to do what I want it's like all right let's do it um let's bring your dream to life exactly yeah 